Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Today we are taking a look at the Atomstack A48 Ultra Unibody Laser Engraver, a powerful 48 watt diode laser. Atomstack claims it's the epitome of safety and precision for professional laser engraving, while being easy to get up and running for beginners. The A48 Ultra is packed full of features, from its full enclosure to its one-touch autofocus. But is the A48 Ultra the diode laser engraver for you? Let's find out. Before we begin, this A48 Ultra Unibody was sent for me to review by Atomstack. As with all of my reviews, they aren't paying me for this review, and everything I say is my own honest opinion after using this laser for the last month. My videos do have affiliate links in the description, so if you are interested in anything you see in my videos, you can use those links to help support the channel. We appreciate it. Now let's get into it. The Atomstack A48 Ultra is a diode laser engraver which produces a 455 nanometer wavelength blue light laser. Diode lasers are great for working with natural materials like woods, leather, and stone as well as opaque acrylic. Diode lasers do not work on clear or transparent materials like glass or clear acrylic. Starting with the A48's laser module, we see the large fan on top which blows air through the module to cool the diodes and help clear away the smoke. Inside the module are 8 6 watt diodes. When they are all firing, they get combined together to produce an extremely powerful 48 watt laser. But the A48 Ultra has a trick up its sleeve. You can flip the switch on the side of the module to switch into the more precise 24 watt mode. As manufacturers combine more and more diodes together, they get harder and harder to align and focus precisely, so you get higher power at the cost of a slightly larger laser dot size. But with the A48 Ultra, you don't need to make that trade-off. The high-powered 48 watt mode is great for cutting, you can easily work through very thick pieces of material, but when you need more precision, you can switch into 24 watt mode to take advantage of the smaller dot size. My Kerf offset tests show that the 48 watt mode has a dot size diameter of 0.11 millimeters, while the 24 watt mode has a smaller 0.09 millimeter dot size. While that's not a massive difference, it can result in more detailed engraving, especially on images. As a side note, my tests align with Atomstack's marketing claims of a 0.1 millimeter beam, so that's good to see. The laser module is attached to a motorized Z-axis, which can move the module up and down. This enables the one-touch autofocus. Simply move the laser over your material, and then click the autofocus button. The module then moves down to touch the top of the material, and then moves up to the perfect focal distance. Focusing doesn't get easier than this. The motorized Z-axis is also useful for thicker materials. Between each pass, the laser can move downwards to bring the focal point deeper into the material. This allows for cleaner cuts on thicker materials. Four passes was all it took to go through this 30 mm thick black acrylic block. The A48 Ultra has a work area of 360 mm by 280 mm, but that can be expanded up to 360 mm by 800 mm with the optional conveyor feeder attachment. The frame is solid with the x-axis running on metal wheels and the y-axis using linear rods with ball bearing. Atomstack claims up to 36,000 mm per minute speed. The stepper drivers might be rated for that, but with the weight of the laser module and the motorized z-axis, I wasn't seeing any difference past around 20,000 mm per minute. The gantry has four end stops, one for both min and max on both axes. That'll stop the laser from trying to move out of bound. The cables are nicely cable managed with the integrated cable chain. This keeps them safe and out of the way. The x-axis cables, not so much. The A48 Ultra uses adhesive cable clips, but it doesn't work with the air assist hose. I found that the hose would slide along the enclosure top. It won't damage the hose or the enclosure, nor would it affect performance, but I just found the scuff marks interesting. The enclosure itself consists of six orange polycarbonate panels which bolt together and attach to the gantry. The enclosure provides great visibility from all directions, while helping filter out the laser lights and extracting the smoke and fume. It is class one laser certified, meaning that the enclosure of the A48 Ultra is safe to be around while operating without requiring safety glasses. Adding to to the safety are the two cover detection switches. If they detect that the lid is lifted while running, it'll immediately trigger an alarm and stop the laser. It's great to see safety like that. I don't have a way of quantifying the amount of laser light that makes it through the module's window and the enclosure, but I found when running in 48 watt mode, it is still pretty bright to look at. While it meets the class 1 certification saying that it's safe to view with a naked eye, I wouldn't recommend staring at it for long periods of time. The enclosure contains two LED light strips on the side, providing plenty of light on the inside. At the back of the enclosure is the 75mm diameter exhaust fan, which vents through the included 3 inch diameter, 5 foot long aluminum duct. While not the most powerful fan that I've tested, it does an adequate job at extracting smoke and fumes from the enclosure. You'll definitely want to vent outside or through an air purifier, because when cutting at full power with the 48 
48 watt mode, the A48 Ultra can exhaust a large amount of smoke. You may have noticed that there is no bottom to the enclosure. The A48 Ultra does not include any kind of work surface. You'll need to purchase a honeycomb panel separately or add on Atom Stack's H2 riser or conveyor feeder. I was using a 300mm by 300mm honeycomb panel with no issues, although the A48 Ultra could only use 280mm in the Y direction. On top of the enclosure is the built-in USB camera. After a quick calibration process in Lightburn, the camera shows you a view of the material inside of the laser. This lets you easily position the designs on your material. The more that I use the camera workflow, the more I like its ease of use. You can really make the most of scrap pieces of material, saving you time and money. Atomstack provides a printed copy of Lightburn's calibration dots, which also saves you a step of having to print it yourself. The only slight issue is that I often had the laser module or air assist hose blocking my view, so you'd have to move the laser out of the way before I could see the material. This would be a problem with any ceiling mounted camera. But the A48 Ultra's laser module, with its motorized Z-axis, is much larger than lower powered laser, so they take up more room in the camera's view. On front of the gantry is the safety lock, which Atomstack provides two keys for. The alarm lights up when a fault is detected, such as opening the lid when the machine is running, and the emergency stop switch which cuts power to the machine. Moving to the right, we see the ports for the optional rotary attachments, USB drive for offline engraving, and the optional HDMI touchscreen. Around the right side, we see the power output which controls the air assist compressor and exhaust fan, the power input, the USB Type-C port to connect to your computer, and the Wi-Fi antenna. Speaking of air assist, the A48 Ultra comes with a rather nice air assist compressor. This forces air through the nozzle of the laser module, allowing you to cut faster, prevent flare-ups, and remove smoke that might discolor the edges. I like the look of it, and it produces a good amount of air at max setting. When running at max, the edges of cuts are very clean with very little discoloration, even when cutting fast in 48 watt mode. The compressor can be turned on and off via software, However, the speeds can only be controlled via the knob. Atomstack sells many optional accessories for the A48 Ultra, so you can increase the laser's capability down the line. This includes their R2 V2 rotary roller and their rotary chuck, allowing you to engrave on round and cylindrical objects. And I've mentioned the conveyor feeder and riser base, which lets you engrave much larger material. And Atomstack's air purifier can remove harmful particulates and fumes from the exhaust, protecting your lungs. The assembly comes in two steps. First is assembling the laser itself, which was a breeze. The A48 Ultra laser comes 99% pre-assembled. All that was needed was to screw on the Z-axis carriage, then screw on the laser module. A few cables and cable brackets later, and we'll fully assembled. It only took a couple of minutes to complete. With the enclosure, you have a few more steps to complete. Screw on the side pieces, and then the back, top, and front pieces. Each piece has four to six screws, and while the pre-drilled and tapped holes are nice, you might need to hold off tightening everything until the end so you have some leeway to line everything up correctly. Finally, you can plug in the cables for the lights and the enclosure closed switches, and run the camera's USB cable through the rubber grommet. The enclosure took a bit more time to complete, about 20 minutes, but the instructions do a great job of walking you through each step. The A48 Ultra can work with any Gerbil compatible software like Laser Gerbil or Lightburn. I'd highly recommend picking up a Lightburn license. The feature set is worth it. The manual also does a great job at walking you through the initial setup with both programs. Atomstack also has their own app for iOS and Android, so you can create designs and control the laser wirelessly. So with all the specs out of the way, let's take a look at some examples. Woods work great on the A48 Ultra. I was cutting 3mm thick birch plywood at about 650mm per minute in 24 watt mode and 850mm per minute in 48 watt mode. These initial speed tests were done with medium high air assist, and you can see the discoloration on the edges. However, when bumped up to high, like on this living hinge, that discoloration goes away entirely. You can cut very intricate designs, like this leaf pattern. Image engraving also works great. Switching between 24 watt and 48 watt modes is a subtle difference, but that smaller dot size does make a difference for images. Diode lasers cannot cut clear acrylics, but the A48 Ultra works wonders on black acrylic. These 3D print log keychains look great, and I was able to make it through this 30mm thick acrylic in only 4 passes. I love working with slate coasters. With a single pass, I got crisp, white contrast in the center logo, and with 3 passes, there was a decent amount of material removed on the outer pattern. Anodized aluminum also came out with very crisp edges. There is no residue on the edges, the air assist did an excellent job at keeping the surface clean. And you can create some beautiful colored oxides on stainless steel by varying the power and line intervals. I could get some nice blues, purples, browns, and oranges with the A48 Ultra in 48 watt mode. I was running at 6000 millimeters per minute, and you can see variations where the center of each square is a deeper color. This indicates that you'd maybe want to increase the overscan values in Lightburn to account for the heavier laser module. 
as it takes more time to accelerate and decelerate each pass. In conclusion, I think Atomstack did an excellent job with the A48 Ultra unibody laser. I like being able to switch between the powerful 48 watt laser for fast cutting and the 24 watt mode for more detailed engraving. The Class 1 certified enclosure means that you can operate without additional eye protection, keeping you and everyone around the laser safe. And venting the smoke and fumes outside is easy with a built in exhaust fan. The A48 includes some amazing features like the one touch autofocus and movable Z axis, software controlled air assist and fan and the camera for easy positioning. I had a great time working with the A48 Ultra, and I experienced no issues with any of my tests. The A48 Ultra unibody sells for $1,099 US dollars at the time of recording. You can bundle the rotary attachment, honeycomb panel, riser base, and conveyor feeder to save a decent amount of money, with the rotary roller and honeycomb panel bundle selling for $1,299 US dollars. If you want it all, you can pick up the all-in-one bundle for only $1,589 US dollars. Or you can always purchase them separately to expand your capabilities in the future when you need them. There aren't many 48 watt diode lasers on the market, but even then, the Atomstack A48 Ultra is less expensive than many of the 40 watt lasers out there. Since the A48 Ultra doesn't include a honeycomb panel, I'd consider that a necessary purchase that you'll want to factor in. But if you're looking for a fully enclosed laser with all of the features you could need, the Atomstack A48 Ultra unibody could be the laser for you. So thank you all for watching my review of the Atomstack A48 Ultra unibody laser engraver. What was your favorite feature? What features do you think it's missing? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I have plenty of upcoming reviews and projects, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. If you are still in the market for a laser engraver, why not check out my review of the Creality Falcon 2 Pro to see how it compares with the A48 Ultra. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.